800,000 US dollars in trading every single day. What's up, P Nation? Today is a very special day. We're in Kunming, China, and we're going to the biggest flower market in all of Asia, the Daonan Flower Market. It has over 200 varieties of flowers, and it ships to over 10 countries every single day. It's crazy. But first, we have to get to the train station. It's about 12 stops south of here, so we gotta get going. So after our 30 minute train ride, we have arrived at the biggest flower market in Asia. Apparently, the most of the trading goes on at 3 a.m. We are not willing to get here that early, so it's just afternoon, but there's still a lot of activity. So like Leah said, this place is crazy at 3 o'clock in the morning, however, we're here later in the day. But anyways, this place trades over 2.5 million yuan a day. That's 800,000 US dollars in trading every single day, which makes it one of Asia's largest flower markets. I had no idea there were so many different types of orchids. I thought it was just pink and white and yellow and like zebra. There's so many and they're so big and they have every single type of succulent you could ever want. So being from Texas, we have a lot of cotton growing, and it's so funny, it's different colored cotton. It's a flower here. Oh, and to think there's three floors of flower trading, this is crazy. And I'm really glad I took my allergy medicine today because it is fragrant in here. It smells so good, but I'm not sneezing. That's good. So now we're gonna head to the second floor. So the Yunnan province, which is where we are now, has 15,000 acres devoted just to the production of plants and flowers. And that equals about 4 billion stems cut every year just for flowers. And so like there's the main floor and then there are all these little stalls that are independently owned and have smaller things like cactuses and things that don't die Kill tomorrow. It. Although I would probably kill it because I'm awful with plants. Every year for my birthday, Zach would buy me months because they're seasonal and I'm an autumn person. Anyway, I would always kill them so quickly. I would either overwater them or underwater them. I'm just really terrible with plants. So one time me and Caroline, Zach's sister, got succulents. We were like, oh, these will never die. It died within like two weeks. This one has a snail. Okay, Leah found her favorite flowers. However, we're on a budget, so we have to make sure they're under 12. So we might be a little bit negotiating about the apple. <laughs> okay, so this is them. Are you going to negotiate? Old Hollywood. These are like this, like wine color. You know, like you can get like a lipstick this color, but it's like kind of 80s themed. I don't know. I just think they're really pretty. Okay, so we were saying that our budget was 12, but then he said 15, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's fine. All these 
flowers are everywhere except this is only half of the market. They open the other half at 3 o'clock in the morning when everyone's actually here. all the flowers we can and now we're on our way to another nature place it's called the green lake it's like in the very center of like the really prosperous part of Kunming right now oh yeah. so that's our next place we're going take the train there for this brick of flowers it's yeah. crazy they're all stacked every side is so colorful I don't know what this is it's like a strawberry milk something Well, that subway was just a little bit crowded, but it's rush hour. And now we're walking about 25 minutes to Green Lake. Yes, so there's a restaurant there that is supposedly really, really good. It has, features a lot of like Yunnan types of food. Authentic foods. food. Yes, and they just happen to have an Englishman. So I know dinner's only in an hour, but we had to buy some snacks because technically we didn't even eat lunch. <gasps> we got egg tarts, which are our new favorite thing. Oh, so good. They're only 25 cents. They don't smell great, but they taste amazing. amazing. It's very dense. There's actual chocolate on top. I cannot believe that. And it's like chocolate flavored bread. And now for the egg tart. Soft pie crust. And the inside is like custard. And the taste just like egg. I don't know, like egg and sugar. So after much confusion on Google Maps, we have finally made it <laughs> to Green Lake. Green Lake became like a resort for people, but now it's just this lake that's cut off from everything. And it's got like some really spectacular architecture, and it's pretty, and it's got flowers. And the best time to be here is early spring when we are here. We're here, the lake's a little low. A little, but... a little dead on this side, but on the <laughs> other side, it's got water in it. So we're just here to explore it. Okay, so I was just taking Leah's picture back there, and this little girl was like, hi, and Leah was like, hi, and then her dad wanted a selfie with her, Leah, and the <laughs> child. The only reason we're telling you this is because everyone said that when we went to Thailand, we would be stared at, and everyone would, you know, smile yeah. at us. That was not the case, because it was normal to see people looking like us there. Yeah. However, here is the exact people. opposite. Yeah. Everyone is looking at us, they're all smiling, we get good engagement. Taken. Yeah. So we just wanted to share that with you because we really are aliens here it's kind of fun. in this part of China. Yes, you see these? All of these buildings, I don't know what they're called. They're not pagodas, right? No. I just, I've seen them so many times, so many different Chinatowns, but to actually see this many in China, yeah. I feel like we're really here now. We've been looking for this for a while and we finally found them. So we are at a place called Heavenly Mana and it's kind of well known. The food looks absolutely delicious. There are huge portions. We ordered like five different things. 
we may be regretting that later. It's a little bit more expensive than what we're used to, but we figured this might be like our big night out here in Kuching because this is the first restaurant we've actually like looked into before going. So our first dish is actually a, a pure Yunnan bang. It's mashed potatoes, but there's like a bunch of different stuff in it. I don't know how we're gonna do this with chopsticks. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, kind of tastes like a potato chip. This is the first time we've had mashed potatoes this entire trip. This tastes so good and it's warm. It's so funny to be eating mashed potatoes with chopsticks though. Okay, so next we have pickled bamboo shoot vegetable soup. I'm kind of excited by this is bamboo. <laughs> I like it's like pickle paste with tomato sauce. So it's like pickles and ketchup. It's really good. Okay, now this is what we came here for. It's fried goat cheese with tomatoes. Oh my god. Wow. Goat cheese is so tangy. It's not as salty as like what we're used to goat che cheese tasting like, but that is really good. Okay, we haven't even tried it yet, but like I'm already sweating just looking at it. It's spicy chicken. It's hot. Fire them up. Look at this. These look like little fire ants, at least in my opinion, that are just ready to incinerate your mouth. It's crazy. So full. I'm so glad we have a walk home so I can kind of work off a little bit of this food we just ate. Yes. And today was just amazing from the flower market to dinner. This was really an exciting day. I mean, it was it was unlike any we've ever had. Very unexpected that it would be so eventful. Yes. <laughs> selling flower crowns everywhere and they are so cute. Little children are wearing them and like women and dresses and they're just absolutely adorable and I'm really sad because Zach wouldn't let me buy one for him to wear. He would look so cute in them and he is my little flower child. 